using this experiment, we want, we have two purposes for this experiment. First of all, we want to learn about how do we find the value for X and Y. So we have to do like five, six different set of the equation. If I want to find a value for X, I need the rate. I need the, so I do two trial of the experiment. This, these values, X and Y, by the way, they are only found experimentally. You cannot look at the, the balanced equation and say it's two or five. It is not equilibrium. This is a rate law. For the rate law, you have to do this experimentally. And then say, if I change the concentration, let's say if I double the concentration of the iodate ion here, I instead of using six, I'm using 12, 12 to six, how is going to change the rate? If I use 12, I get one rate. I use six, I get one rate. As long as I keep the, the sulfurous acid constant, this part is going to cancel. So I don't have to worry about the concentration of sulfurous acid or Y temporarily. So using the K value is going to cancel too. Whatever the rate is, which I use this equation to find the value for rate, experimentally, I find how many seconds it takes. If it takes 30 seconds, then one divided by 30, that gives me the rate for this A. And then for, for rate for D, if this one is 30 seconds, the other one is going to be much longer because I'm only using six milliliter or the concentration is lower or half. So let's say if that one took like 60 seconds or 65 seconds for D, then I divide one over 60 and I get the rate for D. So I can get these values experimentally. I can get these values experimentally. The 12 and 6, these are based on design of the experiment and is given in the procedure how much to use, which are the numbers that is shown here. 12 milliliter of iodate for trial A, for trial D, we are using 6 milliliter of the iodate ion. So we get these numbers, and now 2, the 12 divided by 2 is going to be, uh, 12, 12 divided by 6 is going to be 2. So rate A rate of a trial A, A over rate of the trial D, D is going to be two to the power of X. So if we have this value from the experiment, we can find the, the value for, uh, for X. And the value for X is not this is not the coefficient, so it could be any. It could also be a fraction, but the, the experiments that you pick, you shouldn't get like a fraction. So if you get like a 0.9, change it to one or round it up to one. That could be due to some experimental um, experimental um, error. So you're getting whole number for this experiment. So based on the design of this experiment. We are using like six different trial of the experiment. And this was the A and D that we used. For A and D, A and D, the value of iodate is 12 and six. We keep the sulfurous acid constant. You see, we don't change the sulfurous acid. One has to stay constant so we can cancel it. And the other one is going to change. So the, the value for rate, it's calculated using equation that we had earlier, okay? So now we have the, the rate of A, trial A over rate of trial D equals to the power of the X. We can take the log of both sides. So we take the log of this value and it would be log of to the power of X, which is same thing as X, times log of two. So this is going to give us a numerical value. So we have a numerical value from the experiment for the numerator. And log of two is a, a uh, number also. So you divide 
this number that is found experimentally divided by log of two, and that gives you the value for X, which is the order of the reaction with respect to X. If you find one, you find two, whatever you find, you can use that. So you just have to be careful the trials that you are picking. Like if you were going to find the value for Y, which trials would be the best trial or what would you use if you were trying to find the Y? If you're trying to tr find the Y, then we wanna make sure that the, the iodate is going to be canceled. So in order for iodate needs to be canceled, we have to pick the one that iodate is the same. So it's going to be B and F. So we use B and F because we want the iodate to stay constant. And if you wanna get the same number and make it simple for us, log of two, we should get, uh, we should get the 16 and uh, eight, okay? 16 and eight. So we are using 16, eight, for the for uh, sulfurous acid and iodate is canceled because it's 10 and 10. So we don't have to worry about X for now. K is going to cancel. So this value again, you find this experimentally. Let's say that is like three, two or four, this number, whatever it is, equals to the, the 16 divided by two again is two to power of Y. And when it's two to the power of y, you can find that to take log of both sides similar to the x, when you take log of both sides and then you find the value for, for y. The log of two is a constant number again, is a value. This part, the log of rate f, or trial f over rate trial b, it can be found experimentally because you do the trial, you find the number of seconds and you use the, the rate equals one divided by number of seconds to get the rate for each one separately. It takes time for you to do the calculation, but you are given this example in the, um, in the uh, lab manual as well. I also have the explanation here, and I hope that uh, is going to help you. That's good. This explanation and the lab manual would help you to perform all your calculation with no uh, no problem. Also, a second topic covered in lecture is about uh, about the the kinetic concentration of the iodate ion and the sulfurous acid. When you use this concentration, when you get it from the burette. It gives you the concentration is like 0 0.04 for each one of them. That's the molarity based on the design of this experiment. We use the 0 0.04 for each one of them. Now, since this is going to be diluted to 100 milliliter mixed with everything else, when, this re when reaction is taking place, we don't have the 0 0.04 molar. We have now, the less concentration. And because we have that less concentration, we need to find the concentration using the M1, V1 equals M2, V2, okay? The M1, V1, this is going to be 0 0.04. For both of them, I use 0 0.04 molar. The volume you are going to, depends on which trial you are using. So if it's for iodate, the first trial is 12 milliliter, second trial is 10 milliliter, trial C is eight milliliter. So it depends on which trial you wanna calculate the concentration. M2 is what you are missing. V2, based on the design of this experiment, if you go back to the table, you see that if you add all the numbers together, it's going to add up to 100 milliliter. That's why you are using 100 milliliter here, for your calculation. Okay. So to find the concentration for M2, to find the concentration for M2, you would divide both sides by 100. 
So this 100 by 100 would cancel, and then M1 times V1 divided by 100, whatever is there is going to be the concentration for iodate ion. 